when you tuned in at around 6 o'clock this morning, you might have heard some angelic voices singing their own rendition of Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And that was these beautiful young people behind me. They are the Rhodes High School Show Tunes Choir under the conductorship of Mr. Orrance is standing right next to me here, the man who formed this entire group. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. There we go. Yes, they are awake. It's good to have you guys here. And I met your wife just before uh, we started the show. She was like, so proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you must be very proud to, to see this choir where it is right now, to be performing yeah. nationally. Where, where did this all start for you? Uh, look, it started in February this year. I just thought there's this gap in the market, in, in the school market, and we need to do something. And yeah. we had all these kids on paper. I had like 80 kids on paper, and I thought, let's get these kids together. And I ended up with around 40 odd kids. Wow. Yeah, in the first two weeks. I have videos of all the rehearsals. I tape everything. <laughs> so, um, He's that kind of guy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little creepy that way. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we, we've been rehearsing, and slowly but surely, I realized there's a real talent here. And yeah. as you can see, what we have today. Yeah. So we performed all over um, since then, yeah. Well, I, I remember starting a choir in high school, and I was in an all boys school, so it was quite different. But you know, within the first year, we didn't really achieve much. It was really kind of <laughs> shocking. What have been some of your highlights during the year of 2012? Sure, what haven't we done? Um, wow. May 16th, we had our public debut in City Hall here in Cape Town. Well done. And after that, we performed all over in little concerts, little ensembles. We'd go and sing, various functions, yeah. fundraisers. We also did a, um, our own choir festival. I thought, why must we go and sing at other choirs' festivals when Brilliant. we can do our own? So we invited four groups, sold out audience, had to put out extra chairs. Um, made a heap of money, and these kids, the, the photos, you have to see these kids' faces. It's beautiful, just, beautiful. That's what it's all about, these smiles that you see. I want to find out from one of the members of the choir quickly, what, what, what has been you know, the, the, the difference that you've seen now that the choir's in the school? From our choir From, you, from choir being in there, I mean, are kids being more you know, uppity about music? Are they more hyped up about uh, it? Kids are much more interested now. Hey? Kids are a lot more interested now, and one of the things that is very important is the amount of activity yes. that the choir has, because we're performing almost every month. Beautiful, beautiful so because stuff. of that, there's a lot of interest now. Well, it's great to have you guys. Yeah, I'm going to grab the mic quickly. Tell us quickly about the song you're going to perform for us. The song we're doing right now is called Born is Christ My Lord, written by a good friend of mine, Wesley Lewis. He wrote it probably three months ago. It's brand spanking new. It was performed publicly in September. Uh -huh. It was the first time. Yeah, well, UWC. here it is. Here they yeah. are right now, the Rhodes High School Show Tunes Choir with a brand spanking new carol. <laughs> Take it away.